All right, hello again. Now today we get to do something that I've been looking forward to probably since we started these drives. And it's driving another Grenadine Island. I always love that. Today we're off to Bequay. Eight o'clock. Trying to catch the eight o'clock. And on this sunny Saturday morning, we weren't the only ones trying to catch the eight o'clock. Mm. And in normal Vincentian fashion, we were late. But thankfully, we made it. And now it was just to load up the Jeep, get on board, pay our fares find our seats and look forward to what is possibly my favorite part of the whole journey. My favorite part, the birds. <laughs> So we made it, and with our limited knowledge of the area, no local guide, Google Maps and faulty data connections, we're bound to end up in somebody's yard, but 
let's go. Let's see back way. Normally gives you a different feel. Even on a work day, <coughs> back here gives you a completely different vibe. Um, in back way, it's, I don't know if I could call it a little bit more relaxed, but a little bit more casual. On mainland, it would be so strange to see somebody show up at work in short pants. In my line of work. We're in Hamilton. Yes, I think we are. So it's about midday now.
came up here and that's the fort it's called not much of a building here but there are these big fellas one two three four five of them that's pretty cool Now at this point I could skip back to the town but I just wanted to get one more view of that beach. <laughs> it is a nice one. I should say that I underestimated that way. I actually thought previously to doing this drive that I could do back way in a half an hour. That is not possible. That is not even wishful thinking. I'm not sure what that was. But back with I did underestimate it. Alright, now because I underestimated the size of the drive, there are some areas that I wasn't able to capture. So for these I'm gonna have to resort to using a map. So let's get the map. Okay, where are we? At least by now we know on planet Earth. If we don't, then I'll be worried. So we're in the Caribbean. More specifically in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But today we're on the island of Pequay. So we got into the island right about here in Port Elizabeth and we started driving over towards Fort through Hamilton right up to the site of the fort and then we drove back to the center of the town well to the town and now we're going to jump to a section that I didn't get to drive to because I was running out of time I didn't record that so we're gonna jump up to the gap that leads over to friendship which is right about here so let's go friendship Okay. Friendship, thank you for that. Man. <laughs> I want to record it. This is friendship. As we come around this bend, another small island is going to come into view in the water. And that's Pity Nevis. Behind it, which is barely visible, 
is an island that is called Isle Cat. <laughs> oh, when I asked the name of it, a local said something that sounded more like Oily Cat. <laughs> Which was strange, but it is what it is. This is where we begin to really get lost. I'm not familiar with this part at all. And that one goes down to Beckford Heritage Museum. I'm not actually sure which way we should be going. This looks like we're going in some bad place and that's a big gate now. If you saw what I just did there, you'd realize my mind was not made up to abandon the hill. 
my inquiring mind just wanted to know, but I wasn't sure. What you just heard is my passenger telling me I should yeah, change my mind. What you also heard is first gear refusing to climb. We were in a predicament. Maybe we were asking a little too much of the little Suzuki. I mean the 1.6 liter could only do so much with three adults on board and two kids. But no, but this is the beast and the beast has more to give. <laughs> so we had to activate beast mode. <laughs> So we stopped, we looked at the turtle, we talked about touching, touching it, not the front, the back, a little less bitey and, and marveled at it and at no point in any of this did I think, hey, you should record this. Nope. I got that. I'm sorry. Getting further into the unknown, and this doesn't look too promising. No. 
now we do the Beckley Heritage Museum side. This is another speaker. As we drove down to the boat museum, I considered recording a tour. I'm not sure I would have been allowed to, but then the thought did cross my mind. I can't do that to small businesses. And that I can't show everything that they have to offer, then nobody would go. So I'm, I'm sorry. Um, the boat museum is there. And there are other spots that you might have liked for me to go inside. They're there. I have to leave for some for you to explore. I can't I can't give you all. So I hope you understand. And this is one of the first places that we saw the sign. What did the sign say? Private property. Keep out. <laughs> so, <laughs> we kept out. Where is the narrator, you ask? Oh, I'm here. I assure you I didn't fall asleep. Now as we make our way down off the hillside and out of friendship, and we look at this beautiful waterfront on the left. Got it right that time. We're heading up and over towards La Pompe. Now I am going to take a little different road than what we did to come down here. Mm, that's not it. Alright, so as we go across this street, and approach a very steep hill which might need beast mode again we're heading over to La Pompe and from here we're looking to head further into Paget Farm and the narrow known as Chalizo but here's where the thought comes should I split this drive into two parts or should I make it an hour and some long? Not sure my computer could handle that. Hour and some long. It's a lot of editing. So, I think what we're going to do here, as we prepare to climb this steep hill, is to prepare our goodbyes. Until part two. I would also take this time to say thank you to Miss Nora Norville. Without you this drive would not have been possible. Also thank you for the contributions of so many others. For those who comment, share, who like, thank you. And as usual, God bless, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.